Hello everybody, good to see you here, hope you're all doing alright. Here we are with this new premiere. Now in this new premiere, I might as well mention, you're going to hear the phrase 17, 2 and 6. Now I thought I might just describe what this means for those of you who are either too young to remember pre-decimalisation or come from a country that isn't Britain. Basically, in the 1970s, what happened is uh, we went from an old version of money to a new version of money. This new version of money is pretty simple. You've got 100 new pence in a pound. But before that, we had what is often referred to as old money. Now, this old money consists of pounds, pound sterling. But then you've also got shillings and pence. And here's how they all calculate. First of all, there are 20 shillings in a pound. Secondly, in olden days, there were 12 pence in a shilling. Now, that did slightly change after decimalisation. It changed to 5 pence in a shilling, but we're using the old terminology, so it's going to be 12 pence. So, 12 pence times 20, that's 240 old pence in a pound. The symbols for each of these are an L for pound, a little dash-like thing for shilling, and D for pence. So with that explained, let's get right on into the core. I hope you enjoy it. There aren't any meltdowns, but everybody in the live stream voted, yeah, let, let's make this video. So we decided to make this video and make sure... You want to go ahead and check out the live streams. We're over there on Twitch many times a week. Always some good stuff going on. Anyway, let's get started with the call. Hello? 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 Uh, hello? Is this Microsoft? Yeah. Hello? You're breaking up. Um. All I hear is click, click, click. Yes. Tell me how may I help you. Uh, yeah, I got, I got your message from Microsoft. You're going to update my Windows. May I have your name? John Thomas. You left me a couple of voicemail messages. I need to check that. Okay. Stay on the line. Yeah. Hello, you said Tessa. John Thomas? Yeah, I'm, I'm John Thomas, yeah. Uh, yes, Miss Thomas, we left the message for you. Um... You are getting some problems with the machine, and uh, you call, right? Yeah. I called, and then okay. you called back, and then I called you back again, and hopefully we're speaking okay. with each other now. Right. So yeah. uh, we are calling you so we can go ahead and update the services and check and see how is in, how is the performance. So are you in front of your computer right now? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the computer. Okay, can you see there is a icon called Team uh, Ultra Viewer, the blue color icon uh, oh, uh, yeah. with the computer sign? Yeah, I see that. Yes, click on it and open it. Okay. My allow remote. What I, uh, allow remote yes, can control. you see there is a there's an ID? Oh yeah, yeah, I see that. So I'll go ahead and check and see how is the performance of your computer. And uh, I will let you know do and don't as well, so you will not get into any kind of scam. Okay? Because you know that there are a lot of scams going around. I, I don't so, know. The only scams I, I know, know is, is uh, sometimes you get the emails from the, the, the prints and he's trying to offer you some money. I will give you more information about it, so no. you will be more knowledgeable that what to do or what not to do. Okay. All right, then. And uh, in the past couple of weeks, when you call for support, later, did you uh, talk to someone about it? Did I talk to someone about it? What do you mean? I don't know who I'm talking to. I mean, I mean, you receive any call from anyone? Uh. Right, software is updating, don't turn off the computer. Just wait. We are no, still don't work, open I'm still working on I don't like that one. 
You you want to use Windows? But... You, you go ahead and you use Firefox or Chrome, and you don't use that Microsoft Edge. Okay. Okay. So is it's you who was closing because well, yeah, I'm, I'm not I'm able to do Microsoft and... Yeah, I'm closing Microsoft Edge because there's bases. I don't trust them bases. Okay. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and check the performance completely, then I'll let you know what to do. Okay. And who else use internet at your home apart from you? Oh, just me and the wife. And what's the main use of it, what you do on it? Mostly um, I actually have occasional video, do a little bit of banking. Okay. Yeah. Check my emails. Okay. I'm downloading the software. It will scan the computer. Then we will let you know what to do. All right, then. Okay. This AI According powered to the... detection engine with a billion frets black. Okay. I don't have to pay for this, do yeah. I? Well, I'll go ahead and diagnose the computer completely. Well, I don't there is want no to download anything if I got to pay for it. Let me cancel that. No, there is. It's a free software. You don't have to pay for the software. It's free. Okay. Because it says and... here upgrade to the new one for. Nineteen ninety five no, no. for one puck one year. I'm I'm doing troubleshooting, okay. Oh, to right. check and see how is the performance. If there is something wrong, okay, we will let you know what to do. All right. Take then. care of that. Yeah. And this is the only device you have or do you have any other as well? Oh I have other devices. I got the smart T V, I got the tablet. You know, you know, we get them all on that new Wi Fi. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I can see here. Yeah. It's you who is working on the computer right now. Uh, no. I, I just I, I thought you were working on a computer right now. Hello. Yes, I'm working on it. Okay, so you're working on it. Okay, so I wonder what's all this about the downloads. Okay, Got a list I'm of downloads just here on... and. I don't know what's going on. No, no. Uh, because I can see the cursor is moving. So who, oh, you yeah. are I, the one who is moving the cursor. I thought you were moving the cursor. <laughs> were you not going to download the super malware detection thing? And now you got your list of downloads. Right. I was trying to do it, but... Uh, okay, well, we're back at the don't super move the anti don't, virus. Don't move the... Don't move the cursor so we can work on it, okay? Just I'm not, leave I'm it as I'm not moving it is. the cursor. Okay, well, let's close now. That's me who closed that. Oh, it's you. Okay. Okay, you got the list of the downloads again. Yes, I was, I was trying to download it, but it seems like that somebody has a control and he deleted everything. Oh, right. Is that the hackers then? I thought it's you, said, so that's why I asked oh, you no, that. No, no, it, it's not me. I mean, I'm just on the line with you. I don't know what's going on now. Right, allow remote control. It's that allow remote control one again. No, no, no. Don't do anything. Let well, me I'm, I'm, let no, me try no, another way. Okay. I, I, do, I, do, I do have one more way. Oh, okay. Which we can, by which we can come to know that somebody has access of your computer or not. Oh, I'm pretty sure someone does, because, you know, they were just download deleting stuff, weren't they? Because I thought it was you, and you thought it was me. So it must be it someone seems else. Like that. It seems like that somebody has access, so let, let's right. check that. Okay. Uh, this is the only software you have, Ultra Viewer. What we will do, we will try another, another software. Okay, then we will delete this one. Let All me, right, then. Let me do that. What one are we going to try now? I'm doing. I'm working on it. Oh, you're you're working on it. Okay. It might be soft H again. Get rid of that. Whatever this other person, he keeps on opening up Microsoft H. We can't be allowing that. Just wait. I'm okay. working on it. Let okay. me check and see what what we can do. Okay. Ultra viewer. I thought we already opened up Ultra viewer. No, no. I'm I'm downloading another. Okay, then. Oh, Team Viewer. Right. Yeah. Is that feeling all right there? I'm sorry? 
I'm just wondering if everything's all right. I got, uh, I think it's well. It's already downloaded the Team Viewer setup now. Wait, what's this? A super. Yes, bastard. I'm working on a. Yeah, there's a super, super spyware. Um, is it software? You check the performance. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to pay for that. That's the one you pay for. I don't want to pay for it. And we got I told you. Best. I told you. It's the free software. You don't have to pay for it. But this. it says it's nineteen ninety nine. Did right. I ask you to pay nineteen ninety nine? No, but you know they install it and then they charge you. I I know what that's about. I remember that TV show. If they you say they got if you think that you don't want me, if if you don't want me to download the computer with the help of Super Andy Spyware, I'll try another way to okay. check that. Okay. Yeah, make, make sure we we get rid of this Super Andy virus. Don't don't do, don't worry about it. Let's okay. try another okay. way. All right. Do, do you want to allow the fuck? Oh, wait, let let go. I'm working on it. Oh, okay. So basically, you use this computer just for a personal home use, not for any kind of business. Oh no, I I don't do business. Okay. No, I invested the money. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Okay, you got ID and password. I do What's have this? it. Account recommended. Sign in. No, no, no. Create account. You don't have to do anything. I don't, don't have, have to, to pay for up. an account, do I? I don't want to pay for this stuff. So I told you, sir, you don't have to pay for any software. Okay. And we are calling so we can go ahead and do the troubleshooting because do call for support. There are some issues with it. And since then, we are trying to reach you. So we can oh, right. take so what... care of the rest of the problem. <clears throat> yeah, the, the the old issues then. What was it? Because of this other other person connected. I think there's another person connected. Oh, is that Super Andy Wires again, mate? Not what? I I closed that. Okay. You just got these black boxes. I'll close it. Can you see this any desk? Uh, yeah, I got any. any desk why desk? why are there two any desks? <laughs> I removed that so nobody can take access of your computer without your permission. Right. Yeah, I don't know why there are too many diskets were there. I only use one for what? Because one. somebody has access with the help of any desk. So right. I removed that so nobody can take access without your permission. Well, that's good. I don't know who's trying to, you know, remote, remote control the computer. Anyhow. I'm working on it. Okay. I'm checking the whole performance, and uh, it may take a couple of minutes. If you want to stay on the line, you can stay on the line, or if you want me to give you a call back, that's totally your call. Well, it's just a couple of minutes, you say, so, you know, might as well just stay on yes. the line. Not more than 10 Especially to 15 minutes. Especially with the amount of issues we've been having trying to get hold of each other. Well, a few things I want to let you know for your knowledge, like uh, not only the email, if you are getting any message as well on your computer asking to call a number for support, make sure that you will not call on those numbers. Why not? How else because am I going to get support? Scam go because there are a lot of scam going around. Okay. Okay, hey, well, what's and that got to do with me getting support? Like, I'm sorry? What's that got to do with me trying to get support from people? Well, sir, exactly what happened that there are so many texts or mails we get from PayPal or someone they are representing Windows or Microsoft, okay, and much more. So make sure that whenever you talk to someone, right, you're talking to the dedicated company, okay, or the and uh, let it be if they ask you to install any application, like uh, any kind of trading program, not to install it, okay? Not to buy any gift cards to make payment and much more. Okay, but what, what's gift cards got to do with me trying to get help with my computer? I mean, if somebody asks you to get you know, like that, they will go ahead and register you with something like that, Google or Microsoft. Okay, I mean, don't pay any money by using gift cards. Okay, well, uh, normally I just use my credit card. You know, when I when I pay for things, I, I don't. I've, I've never bought gift cards <laughs> still, to pay for stuff. We still 
we even we recommend customers not to use credit cards on unsec uh, on any of the websites which you are not familiar with. But I I don't know what what's wrong with using credit cards. You know I got insurance on credit cards. If ever I make a payment like and things don't go right, I going claim to, on the insurance. If you're going to yes, if you're going to Amazon mm -hmm. or any other sites, you can use it. That's what you can do. Yeah, I, I don't and, uh, I don't use them on, on you know other websites. You know there are some websites out there that they they do kind of add up videos and I, I don't pay for that I just get the free stuff but one I mean, thing I want to let you know free, sir, you don't need the to pay. problem it seems like that there are some hackers who has some unattended access on your computer and they are trying to work on it they are trying to get into it okay and uh, it's not only you who is getting a problem we are getting a lot of calls regarding this okay and uh, we updated your Microsoft services. If you are talking about, I mean, if I talk about the Microsoft services, they all are updated, okay? But if I talk about the, there are some other securities, that is something which needs to be updated. I mean, it requires optimization. Well, I, I don't know about optimization. All I, I do is go on the internet. We'll let you know about it. Oh, okay then. Okay. And uh, and what? I mean, the, these are the issues which can be, you know, take care of with the help of an expert and dedicated technicians. They know what to do. Okay. And what not to do to take care of it. And we do have a special team. They know how to take care of it. What they will do, they will work on it by using their knowledge and some advanced tools, okay? And uh, they will optimize the security, okay? And uh, take care of the junk and whosoever has unattended access on your computer, they will take those person out. So nobody can take access of your machine by any chance, okay? Oh, we and uh, we will... We, we will give you the dedicated number. I don't, I don't number. want you to go the... around there and, and snap them. I'm sorry? I, I'm not calling a hit. That's what I'm trying to get at. Right. So they will go ahead and take care of it. And this is something which can be done with the help of a third-party team. They will go ahead and work on it. Okay. So to take care team. of the rest of the problems, you don't have to purchase any software. You will get a warranty. Under the warranty, you may call any time. Okay. Okay. And uh, that's totally up to you for how long you want to secure the devices. But for your information, I want to let you know that the basic warranty that's good for a year and the standard warranty is good for two years and the premium is for three years. Oh, so do I have to pay for stuff? Yes. For the warranty, you have to pay for it. All right, then. Okay. Yeah. So... But the warranty will give you an assurance that nobody can take access of your devices, okay? And the best part is that you can call any time on the dedicated number. You will get unlimited support okay. for all of your devices, not only the computer, your phone, tablet, iPad, everything will be covered under that. Well, I ain't got and, an iPad. Uh, I got a smart yes, TV. Go I got a smart TV. I don't have no iPad. I mean like a phone or a computer that will be covered and you don't need to worry about the hackers anymore. No, I, I don't really worry about no hacker, but I, I don't have iPad. I got this computer, I got a tablet and a smart TV. So basically your computer and tablet will be completely covered. All right. Okay, then. Okay. Yeah. And for how many years of warranty you require, that's totally your call. But the basic warranty, that's good for a year, and the standard warranty is good for two years. Uh, and the premium route, is for man. three years. Okay, so uh, how, many, year? how many years do I need to buy then? Well, so the one year is, will cost you $459.99. Wow. And the two years will cost you $686. And the three years will cost you $999.99. But that's a bit pricey, isn't it? 
Can you can you lower the price a bit? You know, is there that um um a this, March is, Madness this is a price special or this something? This is a price. This is a price inclusive of all taxes and along with the technical technician fees. Oh, okay. right. Well, can I change there is my no address extra... to Delaware? Then I won't have to pay the taxes. Right. Even if you go ahead and buy a new computer, you don't have to pay for any services. Well, that isn't what I said. This... That's got nothing to do with what I said. Yes. If the I warranty take... would be transferable. Well, that's not what I said either. I said if I change my billing address to Delaware, can I get out of paying sales tax? So no, no, you don't have to pay any tax. This is the complete amount which you need to pay, and uh, we will send you the service agreement. And uh, you don't have to make a payment over the phone. You have to mail the check. Oh, I have to mail a check. Yes, okay. to the company. Okay, so what what's the address then? I will give you each and every information. So for how many years of warranty you require? Well, like I said, it's a bit pricey. So I, I'm not sure much about having to do all the old pricings. Can I get a discount somehow? I'll tell you one thing. Okay. For your information, I'll tell you I one thing. I told you before, don't open up fucking Edge. You don't... <laughs> why you don't want to use Edge? Because it's Microsoft, and Microsoft is basis. I don't trust that Bill Gates. You want to use the <laughs> internet, you use the Google Chrome or the Firefox. Okay. Yeah. So on Google Chrome, I want to let you know that if you go ahead and buy any firewall security from the market, that will cost you around $3,000 or huh? more than that. No, I so know we, some guys down talking, the market. They go down we the are market talking about a de- We are talking about a dedicated uh, and export technician. He, he sells the old thing, you, you know, fruit and veg. He go two pair of bananas here for a pen. And then two pair of pen bananas. You can see. Yeah. Masonic You can firewall. see that. No, I don't right. see that. If you, if, you, if you go for firewall security to secure the devices, they okay. are very expensive. That prices go up to $3,000, $4,000 and more than that. Twenty three four thousand. Right. Right, they are oh, very right. expensive. They are very expensive. Wait, so, so you don't right. need to buy I, I, any kind of. Yeah, I've already got. You know, I, I speak to the what was it? His name's uh, I said Abdullah. He 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 works in IT down at the old thing. He's always chucking out those server things. But we are here we'll pick for, up one of those for any kind quid. of support, and you may call any time. Any time. So I get. Yes, the best part is that you may call any time. We are available 24-7. And okay. you will get a dedicated technician on the phone number. And they will provide you support for okay. all of your devices. What's his name then? I'm sorry? What What's the name of the technician? Well, you may talk to anyone when you call. Well, no, it's supposed to be a dedicated technician. So I can't be transferred well, from pillar so, to post. We, we, you will get a mail. Regarding that, this Emil. technician will be assigned to you, and this would be the number. E- Emil, what was his last name? Well, right now you're talking to Mark Davis. Mark, okay. And who's Emil? What What was his last name? Well, right now you're talking to Mark Davis, but once yeah, but you, you are, are registered... Yeah, but you are Who is Emil, and what is his last name? Well, we will we will go ahead and send you that information, sir. Once you are registered. Well, you you gave me, you gave me his first name. Why don't you just give me his last name as well? Davis, Mark Davis. Emil Mark Davis. Yes. Okay. So Emil and uh, Mark. The computer performance Davis. will work like a brand new. Okay. So you tell. You tell me that for how many years of warranty you need? A one year, two years, or three years? Well, I think it's going to be based more on price for filling on time. What can I get for seventeen two and six? I'm sorry. How, how much? How much time of a warranty can I get for seventeen two and six? Uh, I'm I'm not able to understand. Well, like I said, I, I'm I'm not judging it on how much uh, on how long it is. More like how how much I can pay. I mean, I, I can do with a 17, 2, and 6, but I don't know how long that will last. 17 into 6, you say, you're no, saying? No, 17, 2, and 6, that's how much money I, I'm willing to pay. 
what what is the amount basically well 17 2 and 6 17 you, you can you can write write it down on the notepad and tell me here it is okay here's the notepad so what is it it is uh 17 uh then 2 and 6 okay you're talking about uh, uh seventeen hundred dollars right no no seven it, that that's not that's not a one that's an l actually the l should be at the beginning hold on and so it's uh l seventeen two and six yeah there we go what exactly it is well that's seventeen two and six what it is i'm not able to understand Oh, that, that's the amount of money I'm willing to spare to pay for the warranty. Now, how much of a warranty can I get for 17, 2, and 6? So the warranty cost for a year is four seven nine ninety nine. Oh Yeah, but I'm saying I can't afford that price. So can I get a shorter so amount of time for 17, no, 2, no. and 6? You... Well, this is, this is the minimum what we have. Okay, we can't. We don't have any other option. Ah, uh, right. Well, I, I can't be affording 480 a year. You know, I might as well just go and get, get a new computer and new network for that one. Buying, buying a new computer, new network is not a solution because the IP address will always be the same. That will not be changed. Well, I might as well get Starlink then, then I get the dynamic IP. That's not a solution, sir. Yeah, it is. That's not a solution. This is what you need to pay. Well, I can't pay four hundred and eighty dollars a year. So we, if you will pay more amount, I mean, by just hundred and uh, approximately, I would say two hundred more dollars, you will get support for two years. Well, I gotta pay six hundred and eighty. If I can't pay four hundred and eighty, yes. how the hell am I supposed to afford six hundred and eighty? One thing you can do, one thing you can do if it's money is a concern. Oh, yeah, okay. money is a big concern. Money is a big concern. You can do yeah. one thing that, uh, just wait, let me check what we can do. Okay. Originally laid so we can just wave off $50. That's the best we can do. $50? I can pay $50 yes. if it's for a year. No, no. I said we can wave off $50. You need to pay four twenty nine ninety nine. Well, that's still a bit pricey. That's the only plan we have. That's the only discount we can provide you if you are concerned about it. That's it. Well, like I say, it's that's four hundred and thirty dollars a year. If you divide that into twelve monthly repayments of uh, how much of it would be, it'd still be far too much. So you you got to do your one off payment of eighteen pound for the first month, and then thirty six dollars for the next month, and then forty six payments of fifty three dollars for the next thirty seven months. That's not possible, sir. Well, yes, it is. We can't do anything on it. I apologize because the free. money will goes to a third party company, and this is the minimum what they can charge. So if you want to do that. It's totally ah, up to you. It's one of third party companies. Yeah, I've heard about them. Them from Germany, aren't they? So, what do you want to do now? I, I think it was called, what was it? Um, Scheisenhelm Gumba, a GmbH, you know, that company. I think they're in Dusseldorf. Yeah, been to Dusseldorf? Is that where your company is? You're not saying anything now. 